Hi, West High. We are West High Weekly, keeping you updated on what's happening. I'm Shanti Chakalakal. And I'm Leola Echo. Now for this week's top stories. Due to the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act passed in 2010, Pump It Up is no longer selling iced coffee after 8 a.m. They have also begun phasing out foods which are not on the list of approved snacks to sell at school and replacing them with approved foods. They expect to be in full compliance with the new standards by the end of January. Despite the changes in the product line, Pump It Up is still open for business and plans to use the opportunity to revamp and recharge. The coffee shop while still following the new guidelines. English teacher Tom Lindsay has started a new writer's community, a place for students to come and workshop their and other students' works. Kelsey and Ebony have the story. There's just so many people at West High, and West High community, whether it's students primarily, staff, faculty that are writing but just don't have an outlet or a place to discuss it. Um, we wanted to connect with the university more, and so we thought of making a club where writers could come together and workshop each other's working works, and um, then maybe go and meet people from the university, get teachers or writers to come in and visit them too. The group meets every Monday in room 107 at 3.30 and is open to anyone that's interested. And now over to Eugenia and Chanel for this week's updates. At SIBA, a bandmaster association hosted their annual festival last Saturday, the 24th, where West High students performed the pieces they worked on with other SIBA honor bands in Iowa. The musical is starting up again, and over 100 students showed up for auditions this Monday and Tuesday, hoping for a role in Theatre West show Cinderella. The technical theater meeting was Wednesday after school. The show times are to be determined in April, but we'll keep you, post er, we'll keep you posted on the progress of the show. The ninth grade boys basketball team played Limar High School Monday night. They lost the game with a score of 56 to 55 and won their second game with the final score of 58 to 43. Layla Siddick and Kai Trevka flew to Atlanta to compete in the policy debate tournament Barclay Forum hosted in Emory University last Friday through, su through Sunday. 107 teams from around the country competed. They went 4-2 in prelims and finished in octofinals, the top 16, receiving their third bid to the Tournament of Championships, the National Championship Tournament, which they will compete in in April. Club photos will be taken next Tuesday from 3rd to 7th period. This Friday, January 30th, is the last day for, for seniors to turn in their pictures to the main office with a $5 late fee. No school until after Labor Day? Assistant Principal Coley, Colby Miller thinks so. He says the possibility of getting a waiver to start the school calendar before Labor Day from Governor Branstad is very low. According to Miller, we will be likely to start st school in September this coming year. That's what you need to know for this week up ahead. If your club or organization would like to be featured, please contact us at westsidestorypaper at gmail.com. And until next time, we're West High Weekly.